Charlie. Aid sent to Yemen on the one hand while selling weapons to the Saudi regime that were bombing them on the other. And that brings me to the reason we're here today. To say no to the merchants of death and destruction bringing their trade to our great city. And let's take a look at some of the companies on the invite list. Elbit describes its weaponry as battle tested after testing it on the Palestinian people. This includes the Hermes 900 drone, which was among the drones used in the 2014 invasion of Gaza that killed 164 Palestinian children. The American company Raytheon manufactures laser-guided missiles which were used in an attack in 2019 that killed six civilians, three children in Yemen. Even President Biden has cancelled Raytheon arms sales to Saudi Arabia. Stop the arms there! Stop the arms there! Stop the arms there! Break fire! Break! Help me! Stop me! I do fall! Break! So we are standing up today, just as the people in London are standing up tomorrow against the arms fair there, we are standing up to say we are not prepared to put up with these merchants of death selling their weapons, taking them to countries where they use both for wars and for the repression, repression of the people of those countries. We are not prepared to do it. And this is particularly potent for two reasons. One is today is the anniversary of 9-11, where 3,000 people died in New York and Washington. We said on that day, the wars will not help the people who died. They will not help to end terrorism. They will make things worse. Come 
20 years on and we've gone full circle. The Americans and the British have had to pull out of Afghanistan and so they should have done, they should never have been there in the first place. But let's remember, 300,000 bombs have been dropped by the Americans alone in Afghanistan alone over the last 20 years. What an absolute disgrace, what a waste of human life, what a waste of money. And so we are saying the arms companies benefit from these wars. They're the people who get the money. When I look at the fact that they're cutting our pensions, when I look at the fact they're making us pay more national insurance, when I look at the fact that they're cutting universal credit for the poorest people in this country, I say, where is that money going? Well, a hell of a lot of it is going into the pockets of the arms manufacturers in this country and around the world. And this is about making us poorer and making the people of Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq, Libya, Yemen, all these places poorer as well. We have to stop it now. We have to say this is about profiting from the wars. It's about profiting from repression. It's about profiting from the fate of refugees because the refugees are the people who are victims of war. And while the British government says it's going to let some in from Afghanistan, it won't provide the money to give them a decent life. It won't provide the money to do anything for them. It'll do what Priti Patel is doing and sending the refugees back to France. This government is a racist disgrace and we should say so. Afghanistan and Iraq and Syria and Libya are not safe for the troops. If America and Britain had to withdraw from Afghanistan, why the hell should they be safe for Afghan people who've been returned to a special center in Kabul over the last few years? This is the kind of policy that we have to oppose. So thank you so much for coming today. Please stay involved. I would like to see this arms fair cancelled. If it isn't cancelled, I remember the people of Liverpool in 2003 and 2002 blocked the roads around this city centre in opposition to the war in Iraq. Yeah. Let's, let's do that again if this arms fair, if they've got the nerve to bring this arms fair here. And I say to the people who run the council here, make sure that you respect and reflect the ideas of the people who elected you rather than the people who are making masses of profits out of selling arms and out of death and destruction. So thank you very much for inviting me. Stop the War Coalition will do everything it can to support you in this fight and the many other fights that we have ahead. Solidarity you, to you, solidarity to the people who are the victims of these wars, and let's close this arms fair down. Thank you.